Hi, welcome back. So for today, I will be demonstrating uh, another section of how do you create the AirPods Pro website. So for today, I would include this text layout section and this bento box section as well, and also some tips during building um, this these two sections, like how do you use Dora's uh, text editor feature. So for the first part here, the layout, we can see that it has a subheader. It, there's a H1 title, and then there is a subheader size as well. And to check the responsive status, we could drag it and we will realize that it is always um, centered inside and there is actually a box for that. If we go to inspect and check the code, you could see that there is a center, center fixed width of 980 and then other part is like responsive to how you drag. So no matter how you drag the center, there's always a 980 box here so that's what we, we're gonna build as well inspect is a really useful tool because it allows you to check like the size of the um text here and you can know like what typeface what size what is the line height what, like every settings so what you do is go into inspect and then find the find the code if you hover your mouse on every section it's going to change the highlight for example now i am highlighting the h2 class this the text saying audio um, performance and if I go to the right side I could see there's like uh, information about this text it says the color uh, is f5 f5 f7 and then the font size is 32 pixel line height 1.125 font weight is 600 which is usually like semi bold um, and then the letter spacing is 0 0.04 em and there's a margin bottom of 24 which we could achieve it by using the uh, constraint layout inside of Doria so after knowing these informations, I can start to build my stuffs. I'm just gonna lay out everything and then I will set up my container and my keyframe like animation. And just now we see that the type size is 32. So I'm just gonna set it as well. And then the line height is 1.125 and if I'm remembering correct, so it, will, it should be 36. Since this paragraph is an H2 as well, I'm just gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna just reframe it into a paragraph section. So sometimes if you're not sure like what the specific height of this box should be, like because you know the text box is actually changing according to uh, your line height. Uh, line height is like the thing between uh, each row of sentence. You could use the feature called hug inside of height so it's just gonna automatically uh, adjust for example if i'm shortening it then the box height is gonna change as well so here i'm just gonna adjust it adjust it so it matches uh what the website shows and then i would copy this h2 more immersive by every measure so here i'm just going to create the header uh the setting here is the size is 120 line height is 108 and then the letter spacing is negative 1%. Now I'm going to put these stuff into a container. So what you do is just select it with your mouse, click right, use container selection, or the shortcut key is command G. And one thing to note, I thought it was really important to mention as well, is the order of how you set up your constraint layout. It is important. If you're putting stuff in a container, you have to put it inside the container first, then you put all the constraint layouts. If you do it reversely, do the constraint layout first, then throw it into a container, your constraint layout is gonna disappear. So now I am uh, linking all these elements together and then I need to set the and I'm gonna set this containers width as 980 and all the stuff is gonna be left aligned. So when you click this align left or any other keys, it's just gonna automatically align to its parent container. And we also set this parent container as hug contents. And I'm gonna give it the name as three container. So as I check into the original design, so there isn't a specific value between these two, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Uh, one thing we would notice is that 
the background video is disappearing at the specific moment. S3 container is around like one third of the whole viewport height. So for this, let's center it and then connect it to S2 container. I'm gonna set it as around 150. And now we're gonna do the background video disappear at this one third. So let's add a driver from S3 container. And then if we go to 34 VH, which is one third of 100. See now currently we are on S3 containers 34 VH. These numbers showing is the corresponding place. The 34 VH is corresponding to the 369 VH of S1 container. So I'm going to set the fading effect of this background video. Uh, the current two keyframes I had was just a rough guess I did in last video, if not correct. So currently we're going to do the correct thing. From starting to disappear to totally disappear is around like 5 VH. So I'm going to drag the ending on 369. On 369, we set the background video to disappear as 0. And then 364, it should be 100. So it's gradually disappearing okay and let's see how the bento box looks so there's two box here and then if, if we drag we would see that this image this video is constantly say in horizontal and vertical center and then there's an outline of the box changing and then there is also a constant gap between this text and the uh, center line. So that's what we want to do as well. I'm going to create two boxes. This bento box each takes up 50% of the viewport width. So for here, I'm going to set it as 50 VW. And then the height, they actually have a fixed height. So I'm going to set 532 after I check the code. Um, and then I'm just going to copy it. And now we could hide the colors and give it a stroke. So inside stroke, you could set up the colors, 515151, five, one, five, one, just color for that. And then um, set the way it's stroke in on center. So it's actually creating a line on the center of this frame. If you do inside, it's totally inside. If you do outside, it's totally outside. And what we want here is center. And then the stroke weight uh, one would be good. And another thing we want to set up is the uh, side strokes. And actually, we don't need the stroke for the left-hand side. So I'm just going to set it as zero. Okay, I can just copy this one. And for this one, you can see we don't need the right-hand side stroke as well. Another zero. And then now I want to import the image in. And this is a video, so I'm just going to import that. And I'm going to set the constraint to align horizontal centers, align vertical centers. Make sure I am putting it into the S4. And then I'm just going to copy the text. For here, it's semi bold, size 28, line height 32. Uh, we can see here actually three colors as well, white, green, and gray. So I'm going to set that up to change the color into gray. Align it with the main tags. And then we're going to group it together, make sure it's fixed. Container selection, and then align it to center. Align it to center so it's staying inside of this bento. To make sure that these two is not running around, like when I drag them, they are like staying fixed. One on the left side, one on the right side. I'm gonna group them together as well. Container selection, bind it to the top. And let's bind this container to the top. Set it as 150. And one thing we need to set as well is set it as center. 
we will set it as fill with. The reason why we want to set it as fill with is that if we don't set it as fill but we set it as a specific value, then it will not be able to uh, responsive when the uh, your browser size change. And yeah, now it's working really well. If I shrink it, see, it's going to be responsive. And it's always in the center having a nice padding. And that's all for today's tutorial. And hope that is helpful for you to learn more about Dora. And see you next time.